Hey everybody, it's Tracy Abbott from Microlink PC. I'm the Access Consultant on Recruitment and i am put together some employee tips for you for when you actually got a job interview that's coming up. So most of them are self-evident and I'm sure that you're aware of them, but I thought if I put them all in one place and then you can do some research if you need. So first tip that I'm going to suggest is actually researching the company. Now, there are some great places that you can look. You can either do a Google search and look about, um, look at that, all about us, the history of the company, things like that. You can go on to something called LinkedIn and look at um, people who work within the organisation, the kind of things that they do, the posts that they make. Um, you can look at the, um, the person even that's interviewing you and look at their history and background, which I always find really useful and quite comforting to know um, that they've come up from a similar school or a similar type background. And I know what they look like as well, which always helps. I would recommend going on to a site called Glass Doors. See the reviews that are left. It's a bit like TripAdvisor for um, interns and graduates. And they leave some very, very honest appraisals on companies. Uh, and again, I find those really useful. So if somebody had a struggle, perhaps they were um, a disabled person and they didn't think the adjustments had been made, it's worthwhile just bearing that in mind. I would always recommend that you ask for interview information in advance, and that includes any questions that they're going to ask or any tests that they expect you to do. It's a reasonable adjustment, so it's, a, it's quite a common thing to ask a business. Not all businesses will do it, but if you do say that it is a reasonable adjustment and you would like to see the information up front, they should give it to you. This is really important. If you need adjustments, please, please ask for them. You don't have to tell the company what your disability or long-term health condition is, but it's really useful to say, I need um, a screen reader, I need extra time, I need um, a colour overlay, I need a sensory room, whatever the adjustment might be, let them know in advance. You don't have to tell them what your disability is. It's what the barrier that you have in work and what the adjustment will do to remove that barrier that you discuss with somebody. Hopefully that company will take those adjustments all the way through and then when you actually go on board, it will become a workplace adjustment, which is obviously something that Microlink PC do. OK, next tip is that you look at the job description. Look at what they're actually asking you to do and then think about how it relates to things you've done in the past. So you might not have had paid work before. You might not have worked in an office before. But if they're asking for somebody who can collate information or file or enter Excel spreadsheets or do some development uh, on a computer, Think about what you do in your personal time. So um, do you actually work for a charity, perhaps, where you gain some experience? Do you have a hobby? Are you a keen gamer? Um, do you help your mum with her business with filing, for example? Whatever the skill might be, think about allied skills that you've used in your personal life, in your hobbies or in your degree or in school. There's always going to be some sort of correlation and connection between the two. So just have a think about what you do. Please, it's really useful to prepare some questions because they always ask you, do you have any questions for us? And I've been guilty of sitting there going, no, 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 thanks. You've covered everything. That was brilliant, which is a bit lame. So maybe think in advance, you know, how did you find your career within this company? Are there opportunities for me to grow? What sort of training do you offer? Do you make adjustments for people with disabilities? Do you have a um, disability working group within an organisation? What holidays do you offer? All sorts of little questions. What size team would I be working in? When, what are the hours? You know, really, really write them down before you go. Please show you are interested. Really important. Even if you're not sure, just say, I'd like more information, but what I've heard so far, I'm really interested in this role. Can you tell me a bit more? Be polite. Polite, on time and clean. Make sure the clothes you're wearing are clean. Make sure you smell fresh. 
Make sure that you turn up 10, 15 minutes early if possible. If you're having a struggle actually getting to an interview site, see if you can get a friend or a relative to actually take you there or use something called Welcome Me. That could possibly help. At the end of the interview, don't forget to thank them. Tell them you are interested. I've said it before, you show them interest, tell them that you are interested. I'm really keen to get this job. Can I have this job, please? Why not? Then just go ahead and get that job. Best of luck.